What's going on everybody? So today in this video we're going to be showing how to calculate due dates for task templates based on today's date and then how to get those to generate into the list of tasks. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and we help businesses build all kinds of systems just like this one in Airtable. If you're interested, you can check out the link in the description and book a call with me or someone on my team tomorrow. So we'll jump right into it now. So in our last video, we showed how to use a list of task templates to generate tasks. The thing we left out was the calculation for due dates. So that's what we're gonna go through today. The idea currently is, I'm gonna delete all these tasks to show you. There's an automation where every time a customer gets added as closed one, so every time a customer goes into closed one, a list of tasks generates for that customer. So you'll see task one, two, three, four get generated. And it comes in with the default status, the collaborator, all of that based on this task templates here. So the idea we're gonna add in here is we're gonna say, with this first example, it's just gonna be based on today's date. So based on today's date, we want this task to be due a certain number of days from now, task two to be due a different number of days from now, and so on and so forth. So the first thing we're gonna add is a number field where we're gonna say number of days from now. And then this is gonna be for the due date. So when we add that number field in here, that's what we're gonna use in our date add formula. So we're gonna use a formula and we're gonna say date add, and this is gonna be our due date. So if somebody goes into closed one today, that would be our assumption. If they go into closed one today, we want the task due date to be this many days from now. So date add is first gonna request a date time. So to do that, we're gonna use the today formula. Then we're gonna, it's gonna say count, and that's where we're gonna use our field here. So I'm just going to type in the word days and then pick the field. And then it's going to say units. We could use, in this case, we're going to use days. Uh, other cases we could use weeks, quarters, months, years, etc. And to use that, we'll use just day in some quotes. So now if I put in some dates here, I'm going to say this is going to be due five days from now. This is going to be due 10 days from now. 15 days from now and 20 days from now. This is the first step. If you wanna take this a step further and you say you don't want it to fall on like weekends, we could change this for me here to work day. And work day, it just doesn't need this last thing because it assumes it's in days. So if I change this to work day, then it's maybe gonna change these just a little bit and it's not gonna fall on a Saturday or Sunday. So those are the two options for the formula, either date, add, or work day. Now, to get this to fill into our automation, we're gonna go back to that automation we've been working on, and we're gonna add in this create record action, the due date. And if you haven't watched the video yet on how to create this whole task template system, I'll link it in the end screen at the end of this video. But I'm gonna make this dynamic, and now I'm gonna pull in the due date from the task table. So using this little blue plus, I can pull from a previous step in the automation, and I'm gonna choose from this current list, which will be described in more detail in that video in the end screen if you haven't watched it yet. So now we can go test this out by adding a new customer and pull down this closed one. We should see, it should link to that new customer, and it should fill in the date. Sweet. So that filled in all those dates perfectly for the new customer. And again, here in this end screen, I'm gonna link the video to the building out the whole task template system we just went through. And I'm also going to link to a video on how to calculate these dates based on a date that's not today that would be stored in the customer's table. So if you don't wanna to use today, you want it to be dynamic based on the customer. Uh, for a date that is not today, there'll be those two videos here in the end screen. So make sure to go check those out and I'll see you in the next one. And also a reminder, if you want some help 
on building these systems out for me or someone on my team, you can check out that link in the description. You can book a call with us tomorrow, but bye for now.